they will be looking at how to use pivot to consolidate your payroll i mean with this you can easily do your payroll consolidation without stress so um all you need to do is to first of all i mean populate your monthly payroll in just one excel sheet so this is for january february like up until december so once you've done that ensure that you remove the name like the the headings of the each payroll uh for, for the month so try to like copy them and then remove them so that we can just have one heading for the whole um payroll consolidation so that's what i'm trying to do now try to remove all the headings for each of the payroll and with that you can easily consolidate using pivot so as you can see i'm deleting the headings So, I've deleted them. So now everything is now having just one heading. So with this, I can easily go for my pivot table. So just note that to use pivot, you don't have to like any of the cells must not be blank. So ensure that all the cells you are trying to copy, one of them is blank. Or else the pivot um, will not work. Oh, sorry, I'm yet to use this heading. So ensure that all headings are deleted. So you just have sync heading, which is the top one. So try to copy everything. So like I said before, ensure that no cell is blank. Ensure that because if any cell is blank, the pivot table will not work. So then you click on insert. So on your insert, you see the pivot table and then you see the recommended pivot table. So you click on the recommended pivot table and then you, you click on blank pivot table. So with this, you can go ahead with your pivot. So with pivot, it will help you calculate the number of months each employee has spent in the company based on the payroll data so the um, relevant data i need is the name which will come first and then i also need the number of months click on number of months and then i need the gross income click on that as well i need the tax payable as well i mean the tax paid for the for the year for all the employees i need that as well so, I mean, these are the key information that I need for the payroll consolidation. Other ones you can usually do copy and paste for that to get them. But I mean, for this um, key ones, these are the ones that might not be easy for you to do. Um, I mean, copy and paste because you have to add all of them together. And imagine that you have a payroll with large um, number of employees. Imagine you have a payroll of like 200 employees. A month. So the consolidation might be difficult for you to do it manually. So pivot table is, is I mean very fast and I mean, makes the process very seamless for you to use. So I mean this is how to use pivot table to consolidate. So all you just need to do is copy the relevant information you have been able to like gather, the gross income, copy it and populate it on your um annual payroll um, annual returns templates from the LRS portal just copy them and paste them the, the number of months that's calculated it for you automatically so just copy it and paste it on your annual returns templates and then you are good to go for your annual um, returns filing i hope this is helpful um thank you for watching and see you next video